Clayton Kershaw now available. First question from Alana Rizzo. Go ahead, Alana. Clayton, another really good six innings from you tonight. Typically, um, in, the, in the innings of work, it's not, you had eight punch jobs. You were able to really contain Christian Walker this evening. What allowed you to be so successful against him, a guy that's had success against you in the past? I just make better pitches. You know, I think he's hit a lot of first pitches and uh, hit some mistakes. So just try not to make any mistakes. Another milestone for you in your career, eight punch outs over the course of your sixth inning. You passed Christy Mathewson for the all-time strikeout list. Um, over 2,500 in your career now. What does that mean to you? Yeah, it's cool. Um, yeah, that's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's obviously a huge honor and um, thankful that I've been able to uh, be here long enough to do it and um, hopefully I can keep going. You say you never really think about no hit stuff until deeper into the game. You had it until uh, that, that sixth inning. Were you, was that on your mind at all? Yeah, I mean, if I were to get through the sixth there, and um, yeah, I think after that it starts maybe becoming a little more real. Um, but really, you know, up until then, it's kind of just, it's not really, to me, it's not really real until after the sixth. And then, you know, after the seventh, you got, you got, you got a real chance after that. You guys have won 18 of 21 games. You've won 10 straight at home. How well is this club coming together? Yeah, we're doing it in all sorts of different ways, too, which is really cool. I mean, you saw last night, you know, just grinding it out till the very end and getting some big hits there. And, um, you know, tonight kind of the same deal, kind of just uh, waiting for that breakout there in the later innings. So um, a lot of guys stepping up. You know, Belly didn't play the last couple of nights. JT's on the IL right now. So just a lot of guys doing a lot of great things. Clayton, I didn't get to ask you when the trade happened um, because we haven't talked to you yet, but your opinion of, of Ross not being here right now? Yeah, it's sad. You know, I mean, I think uh, that's the that's the hard part of baseball sometimes. And, you know, I consider Strip a close friend and, um, you know, he's he's just always happy. You know, it's fun to see him at the field. And uh, I made a joke, you know, his upper body days in the weight room are legendary. So that's, uh, that's what he lived for. Um, so I miss that. I miss seeing him down there. Um, but, you know, hopefully it's better for his career. You know, hopefully he gets a start every fifth day in Toronto for a couple of years and, uh, you know, proves himself. And um, it'll, you know, be a lot better for his career that way for sure. All right. Thanks, Clayton. Next question is from Robin Kavner. Go ahead, Robin. Hey, Clayton. I can't imagine you've watched much of Christy Matthewson before, but when you, you hear these names and – I mean, Drysdale, we've talked about it. And when you're just kind of getting to, to these names, I mean, does it mean something? I mean, we've asked you about a lot of accolades before, but when you see the names in the Hall of Fame resumes, does that mean something to you? Yeah, I mean, I don't, um, I don't ever want to discredit any of the stuff that's happening or because um, it is cool. It really is. It's just, uh, it's just hard for me to think about, honestly, or wrap my head around. But, um, you know, I think um, – yeah, being associated with names like that and um, getting to see your name on, you know, different types of leaderboards and stuff is cool. It, it, it's not not cool. It's just uh, it's just hard to – it's hard to grasp, really. Yeah, it seems like, especially over these last few starts, you've had uh, more of that kind of full mix. Are you feeling, you know, pretty good about the everything really right now with the fastball, slider, curveball, the way it's all feeling? Uh, yeah, tonight was tonight was better than uh, San Francisco. I think uh, San Fran. There's you know quite a few you know hard hit balls to the outfield, and um, tonight you know they hit some balls hard on the ground, but you know for the most part kept it in the infield and not too many fly ball outs and not too many loud outs tonight, which is good. And you know I walked a couple guys and hit a guy, but um, you know for the most part I think it was an improvement from last start. And um, so yeah, I mean I feel I feel pretty good um, at certain times with all my pitches and. But it comes and goes, you know, you got to just try to be consistent as possible. Thank you. Thanks, Rich. All good? Yep. Thank you. Right. Thanks.
Colorado School of the Game. Five one. Dave Roberts now available. First questions from Alana. Go ahead, Alana. Dave, tonight's game a little bit like last night. Get on the board early in the inning, in the game, have some have some hits, and then kind of wait there towards the latter innings. But you once again find a way to get it done. How pleased are you with the way that you guys handled this three game series? Uh, really, it was very kind of methodical. Um, I thought we played really good baseball. Uh, starts with pitching, defense, and we did that. Um, I, I thought today the at bats up and down the line it were better. Um, just really good baseball. Clayton Kershaw once again hitting another milestone, passing Christy Matthewson on the all-time strikeout list. He has more than 2,500 Ks now. He never really takes the time in the moment to appreciate the accomplishments along the way, but what can you say about your ace that continues to uh, prove his Hall of Fame career? Um, I, I can't say enough about him. I, I think that he's just very good at staying in the moment and focusing on the next pitch. and. He's probably uh, already thinking about tomorrow and his work day. But, yeah, that's quite an accomplishment um, to be in that elite company. It's, he's only going to continue to work his way up the list, but um, really excited for him. You guys have won 18 of 21 games. You have won 10 straight here at Dodger Stadium. Are you feeling that this is really as complete of a team as you could possibly have almost two-thirds of the way through the season? Yeah, I, I think so. And, you know, you look at – you know, losing Justin right now, um, we just kind of keep going. And uh, it's just a credit to everybody in the clubhouse and um, guys playing team baseball. Um, the guys in the pen um, being ready when called upon. Starters are giving us quality innings. There's a lot of good chatter um, between the starters, the relievers, um, the position players talking baseball. And um, it, it's for me as a coach, it's, it's really uh, encouraging. There seems to be one guy on every team that is the Achilles heel. For the Diamondbacks, it seems to be Christian Walker. You guys did a really good job of containing him tonight. What did you see in terms of uh, your pitching staff and his particular at-bats, minus that infield single that PK tried to make that great play on? I thought Clayton just did a really good job of executing. I, I think that you know he went soft. He went uh, heaters in, away, um, the curveball. So I think that he just did a good job today, he and Austin, of, of mixing with Walker. And, yeah, and, and Walker's had some success against Clayton. Um, got the infield hit. But I think that this series, I thought we did a really nice job. Thank you. Next question from Pedro Mora. Go ahead, Pedro. Dave, with the way Clayton has pitched through six starts, do you, do you feel like you can safely say you have a different pitcher on your hands than you did the last couple of years? Absolutely. Yeah. And I think that I get the results. Um, but the, the number one thing is he's healthy. I mean, really, um, you know, Clayton's done a great job trying to get back and working hard diligently every single day, the training staff. Um, but I think that's number one. So for him to be healthy and not have to guard or protect against his bar body, um, his back or whatever, I, I think it just allows him to kind of have that freedom to execute pitches. Mm -hmm. And you feel like he's he's pitching more like an ace, given because of the health. He's pitching more like an ace this season well, in a way that you haven't. Well, been the thing is, though, Pedro, is that he was an all-star last year. Um, <laughs> so let's not forget that. But um, but right now, again, he's just continuing to make pitches. Um, he feels good. He feels healthy and strong. So um, he was our ace last year. And, and to your question, yeah, he's pitching like ace again. Thanks. Next question is from Ron Kavner. Go ahead, Ron. Hey, Dave, you, you kind of touched on this, but he got a lot of swing and miss really on, on everything uh, he was throwing. Do you feel like as the season's gone on, Clayton's got a, a better feel for the, the full mix? Yeah, I do. I do. Um, I think early there was a fastball that was good. Um, the slider couldn't really be consistent with, and there were at times that he would lose the curveball. But, you know, tonight – I think everything was kind of on point, uh, uh, you know, on top of the command. But this run that he's on, he, he's really doing a nice job making pitches and, and mixing well, too. Another question from J.P. Hornster. Go ahead, J.P. Uh, Dave, were you somewhat relieved that that was actually scored a hit by Christian Walker at that stage in the game? 
No, I, this time I wasn't, uh, you know, where he's at, it was going to be, you know, even before that, it, going into the sixth inning, I think he was at 86 pitches, something like that. So to think that, you know, you got to go out there and get 12 outs, I, I just don't, we're not going to do that. We're not going to be careless. So um, I was actually hoping that he could go out there and um, not give up a hit, but that was going to be his last inning regardless. Okay. And you know, flipping ahead in inning, um, you put in A.J. Pollock with a left-hander on, on the mound. Um, I'm sure figuring the D-backs would go to a righty at that stage. Is that something that you would have done last year? Would you have had that much faith in A.J. that he could go into any situation and deliver the way he did tonight? Well, A.J. is just – I think he's just entirely more comfortable this year. So um, I probably would have um, – you know, I wanted them to make the move – um, I like still AJ against a right-hander and, um, you know, looking out if there's games that he doesn't start, I still want him to get the uh, repetitions of coming off the bench. Um, but it was really good to see him put a good swing and hit a homer. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. Thanks guys.